If you want to stop losing track of your savings, this planner makes it easy. Follow along as we build a simple financial goals planner for 2026 right inside Excel. In part one, we'll set up your structure, columns, and basic formulas. Then in part two, I'll show you how to add all the bells and whistles like progress bars and color coding. You can grab this free version in the description below and build your goals along with me. Let's start fresh. I'm naming mine Financial Goals Planner 2026. And I'm going to use a dark turquoise color and a white font color. Below that, we'll set up these columns. Priority, goal name, goal description, target amount, saved amount, deadline, monthly amount to save, progress percentage, status, and months left till dead deadline. And then I'll update these with my color and font and keep them all a consistent size. Let's make this a table. We want to make sure my table has headers. And I like to keep it clean, so I'm going to use a custom table design, which I've created myself, and it just has light gray borders all around. If I turn my grid lines off, you'll see it's just a light gray border and no fill color. Now let's fill in a few realistic examples of savings goals that you can include. You might want something like emergency fund, vacation fund, Christmas fund, credit card payoff, things like car maintenance for tires. If you need new ones, you can plan a goal around that. Make sure you enter the target amounts or the goal amounts that you want to include and the deadlines. I like mixing short-term and long-term goals. It helps the planner feel balanced, so you can knock off some of your short-term goals early, while others may take a little longer. Here I've included some example amounts that have been saved, so you can see the spreadsheet in action when we add our formulas. And then I've listed all of my goals in order of priority from 1 to 10 in this example. In the monthly amount column, we'll add the formula that calculates how much you should save each month. In the first cell, type this formula that I'm showing on the screen. Here's what this formula is doing. It first checks if your months left, cell K4, is zero or blank. And if it is, the cell stays empty, so you don't get any errors. Otherwise, it takes your target amount in E4 minus your amount saved in F4 and divides that by the number of months left. It rounds it to the nearest whole dollar so it's easy to follow month to month. So in short, this formula shows how much you need to save each month to hit your goal on time and it stays blank if you haven't set a deadline yet. You'll notice this column is blank for now. That's because we haven't added our months left formula yet. We'll do that in a bit. Next, let's make the progress column automatically show the percentage of your savings progress. You're gonna to wanna to use this formula. Here's what it does. It checks if your target amount, which is E4, is zero or blank. If it is, it shows 
instead of an error. Otherwise, it divides your saved amount, which is F4, by your target amount, which is E4, to calculate your exact progress towards your goal. Next, let's fill in the status column. For now, we'll keep it simple and just type these terms manually based on your progress. We'll use planned, in progress, achieved, or use replan if you need to adjust your target or timeline. We'll make these more dynamic in part two when we add color coding and drop downs. But for now, it's a great visual cue to see where each goal stands. Finally, in the months left column, we'll add a formula that calculates how much time you have until your deadline. You can type the formula that's shown on the screen in, and here is what this formula is doing. It compares your deadline date, which is G4, to today's date. So it'll update automatically based on the current date. If the deadline is still in the future, it'll show how many months you have left. And if it's already passed, like in this case, it'll show a negative number so you can see that it's already passed and overdue. Now that we've added this, your monthly amount column should automatically fill in with how much you need to save each month to hit your goal on time. And that's it for part one. You now have a fully working financial goals planner that tracks your target saved amount, progress percentage, and time left automatically. In part two, we'll make it look and feel more dynamic with progress bars, drop downs, and color coding that updates as you save. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and grab the free download of the Simple Financial Goals Planner in the description so you can follow along in part two. Thanks for watching. Bye.